Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change default PowerPoint options. Let's get started. So this is a popular question for the Microsoft Office Specialist exam, and uh, a lot of students don't really know where to find their PowerPoint options. Keep in mind that these options do affect your uh, PowerPoint 2016 for basically every time that will open up, no matter what presentation you're working in. Most of the options in the ribbon really affect the current presentation that you're working in. However, the PowerPoint options affect the entire thing. So just know that before you change too much of anything within here. So if you go to the File tab, you're going to see that the button at the very bottom on the left side is the Options button. And this has a lot to do with your uh, PowerPoint general options. So general options deals with user interface, proofing. This is where you can set up your autocorrect for PowerPoint, um, as well as custom dictionaries and things like that down here is the save button or uh, the saving options you could actually set up PowerPoint to auto recover information every one minute if you wanted to or 10 minutes like listed here and I have left all of these as default so you can see what the default options are for PowerPoint over here you can uh, choose your language so if you wanted to uh, add a language to this area you could and this is within the language options. And then finally, your advanced options. I like to think of this as where everything else that doesn't really fit into a main category goes. And a lot of this has to do with um, the actual uh, way that things are displayed on your doc or on your PowerPoint presentations, like charts and slideshows, things like that. You have your customized ribbon options where you can customize the tabs, groups, and buttons to your liking. Most of the popular ones are already uh, on your um, ribbon by default. You have your quick access toolbar, which is up in the top left right up here, and you can customize what shows up up there. You have your add-ins and also your trust center, where you can set up your trust settings um, to disable all macros or anything like that uh, by default. And then finally your add-ins, uh, which are like your PDF maker and things like that, um, which are also added onto your uh, pr default Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. So you could actually add in some other things there for other customizable options. So that is what your PowerPoint options area looks like. So before you get a question on the MOS about, uh, hey, how do you, um, or if it says something like, how do you set up your proofing options? Now you know where it's at, and you can go right here to proofing and change autocorrect. So if you see any questions on autocorrect, you know that's within proofing. So you want to find the area on the left first, and then look for it on the right side over here. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about where those options are located and how they affect your PowerPoint 2016 program as a whole rather than as um, individual presentations. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.